Dre. No. You know, I uh been thinking a little bit about um the stuff I've been talking about. And um uh, one thing that I that I never touched bases on or that I hadn't touched bases on yet is um just the what what would I say? Having the emotional tolerance capacity to car conceal a firearm, to carry a firearm, that's something that that can't be gauged by uh, another person. That that right there takes on. Uh, that's something that you have to do yourself. It takes self observation and knowledge. Because, um, even though. In my head, when I think about the crazy things that go on, I feel like everybody needs to protect themselves. But everybody's not. Uh, everybody's not the same. Does not have the same emotional and mental build up to carry a gun. I mean, you know, not to just not definitely not to carry it just to say, okay, yeah, I got a gun. Nah, it's. It's way deeper than just say, "Oh yeah, I got a gun," but because at that at this point that leaves room for you to say, "Okay, well, I got me a gun here. I'm concealed carry. The objective is to keep my life protected." But you driving on the freeway, somebody cuts you off, and you waving your gun in the air, like, I mean, yo, you get yourself in some fucking trouble doing shit like that. I mean. I don't know. It may. F I don't know if it would feel good, or I don't know what you know. You know, I drive, and I have people that really fucking frustrate me when I'm driving. Like, really, really frustrate me when I'm driving. But I never feel the need to wave a pistol at them. I mean, you haven't done nothing to me, you know. But I don't know. Some other people have this extreme emotional attachment. To this um, road rage thing, and you know that would take self awareness. You know, as far as like you could be, you could be have a clean record, but have crazy road rage. And if you don't, if you got road rage to the point to where you don't know what you'll do, then yeah, you definitely don't need a gun. Another thing is, uh, it could be a simple uh, debate. Um. What what anything it could be a simple debate religion, uh, <laughs> politics sports, you know what I'm saying like it's just certain things you know consider you know from the most important thing that I, what I'm really getting at is just self awareness, you know what I'm saying self observation. You really got to know who you are because the worst thing you could do is, is know that you got a bad temper, get your gun and do something. And you pretty much, you know, OK, so what? OK, say somebody cuts you off. You get a, you got your gun. You you're a regular person. You just go to work, come home, pay your bills. You enjoy uh, TV, movies, books, whatever. You just enjoy standard living. Somebody to cut you off. You you flash your gun. Uh, so let's say worst case scenario, somebody else say, somebody say, they they say, well motherfucker, you ain't gonna shoot me through the window. You got your windows down, y'all argue, and you say, you think I'm bullshitting? You shoot the motherfucker. <laughs> then Paul, then you know what I'm saying, <laughs> just say you shoot him, you know, and then that person die. <laughs> I mean. Seriously, let, let's look at this situation. Somebody cut you off. You, 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 I mean, no, you didn't crash. They didn't crash. Your car still intact. You got room to get around. But somebody cut you off. You sped up to get next to them to shoot them. I mean, just think about that, you know. Or just think about. Somebody disagreed with you. 
somebody that you don't go home with, um, somebody who you who de who you definitely probably see on a controlled amount of time. And what I mean by controlled is just just say it's a coworker. I mean, shit, if you see somebody that disagrees with you and you can't handle it, don't talk to them no more. But, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is just some people just aren't strong enough to carry a gun or composed enough to carry a gun. And I hate to make that assessment, but that's a true assessment. <clears throat> some people just don't. It's just that some people just don't have it in them, you know, to maintain capacity. I mean, because at the end of the day, why are we endangering people? Why are we endangering uh, other people because of maybe you had a bad day or something? You know, like I, like I said, I get back to it. The objective of concealed carrying is protecting your life, not threatening someone else's life. You know, guns, guns are um, they they can be our best friends and they also our worst enemies because when they're our best friends, they're our worst enemies. When someone kick, if someone decides to make an attempt on you, that like when they single you out. And they have a gun. That's that's the case where a gun is your worst enemy. But the case of the, your gun being your best friend is if that person decides to single you out, and you have a gun yourself. You know, you know, guns they don't they don't do guns don't do anything. You know, you I I, I run into people that say, "Well, I hate guns." I mean, okay it. I understand that because maybe when you think about all the negative things that have happened to somebody, it's usually done with a gun. But honestly, you say you hate guns because, and that would just be like saying, okay, I hate television. That'd be like, I hate, I hate TVs because of what you've seen on television. You know, I mean, you might... You might be limited to you might limit yourself to watching the news and say I hate TV. That why would you hate TVs? You just you just like the news, you know. I mean, but you know, I'm not trying to change no minds. If you hate guns, you hate guns. But but realistically, you don't hate guns because what you because the first thing you're gonna do when something go wrong is you're gonna call the police and they're gonna come to you. And you're gonna talk. You're gonna talk to a police officer, and he's gonna have a gun sitting right on his hip, and you're not gonna react the same way as if somebody came and just had a gun and just had it like this. Maybe it's empty. You know, this is you'll probably draw a reaction to somebody that just has a gun, like, "Oh, get that away from me!" But when the police, because he's gonna have it right on his hip, you know. So you don't hate guns. You just hate. Uh, the potential worst that they could do. You're not even thinking about the potential best of what it could do because a gun, you know, like I said before, could be your best friend or your worst enemy. But for the most part, just shit. If you know, if you know you can't, if you know you can't control your emotions, then leave it to somebody else. I mean, because like I said before, it's nothing. Nothing should be worth throwing your freedom, your life away. You know, you know, I look at it like this. If you're not trying to survive for yourself, you should at least be trying to survive for the people that love you. And so if you're not trying to stay out of jail, you know, like if you don't got nothing to lose, what about maybe your brother, your cousin, your mother, your father, you know, your best friends who depend on you daily, you know, and you doing stupid shit, you know. But that's all I want to just speak on the uh, the emotional capacity standpoint, man. Everybody be safe, man. And I mean, it, it's 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 crazy stuff going on, man. I I never even spoke about the the zombie shit going on in Miami, 
it actually been three occurrences of that shit, man, and that's crazy. You know, like I said, that that's the kind of stuff to just make you feel like, make me feel like, you know, it's crazy things going on, so I need to protect myself. But on the flip side, I'm not running to this gun. I, you know, I have it. It's there in case I need it. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And this is this doesn't add to my machoism. You know, you get some people get a gun and they all they like this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's not cool. It's, it's not cool, you know. <clears throat> Honestly, I just, to be exact, just the fact that I need to carry a gun, I don't even think that's cool. I like guns, but just the idea that I like, see, per, I, w- I could probably protect, have a, a collection, and probably just go shooting from time to time, but just the fact that I had to carry it. When I'm going to the mall, you know, because no telling what's going to happen. Now, that's what's not cool to me, you know. But anyway, uh, be self-aware. Uh, control your emotions. Or if you can what, control your emotions well, then yeah, go get you one. If you don't control your emotions well and you got one, get rid of it. You know, you probably it may, you know. Yeah, make more money off of it than you than you got it for because guns that's something that'll never lose its value.